And for today's video guys, I built a whole entire $550 budget gaming PC with the following components, a RX 6500 XT with 4 gigs guys. I know it's a low end card, but that was the whole purpose of the build guys. Yeah, it should be super budget friendly. And I got this card for around $160 straight up from Amazon with Prime Shipping, which is an insane deal guys, considering that these usually go for around 200 and the performance was actually really good. I streamed on it with 1080p guys, 60 FPS and even winning my second game in Arena. So therefore it was really playable. I combined it here guys with a Ryzen 7 5800X, which I got for around 190 euros guys from eBay directly. And this is a high end CPU, don't get me wrong. You can even pair this up with something like a 3080. All together guys on a B450 Eros Elite and 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. As you may have noticed guys, I of course also put in there MSI water cooling, 240 millimeters. This is of course out of the budget, but I just had it laying around. So why should I not put it in this PC? By the way, huge shout out guys to Deepcool for actually hooking me up with the PC case. Absolutely amazing. The links to them are gonna be in the description guys the tower is full-on made out of aluminium super airflow and we also have like everywhere like dust protection in there built into this case so therefore amazing and the whole entire pc look gorgeous i mean just take a look at it and before we're going to check out the whole entire pc please make sure to subscribe right now and let me know what should i test on this pc specific resolution should i show you how to get more fps all that stuff let me know in the comments and now let's say let's get straight into this topic so guys and before we're going to hop in game and actually take a look at a specific benchmark i'm just gonna set you up real quick msi afterburner especially here this like monitoring tool which actually allows me to see the exact GPU utilization. We can see all the temperatures, guys, the core clock. We can see the memory usage, everything on there, guys. Then we also got to put in here, guys, the frame time, frame minimum, basically what we're getting, and on average, and maybe also the maximum FPS. Let's put it in there as well real quick. So we get a real-time benchmark of everything. And now we're also going to real quick optimize a ton of stuff in the AMD software. So guys, and once we're now here in the AMD software itself, you can see we have specifically now here category for Fortnite. And we can see I was previously playing on DirectX 11 performance mode and the performance was horrible. I literally got like 60, 70 FPS, which shouldn't be happening on a GPU like this here, guys. So therefore, I switched it over to DirectX 12, guys put everything on the lowest possible and i have to say insta bumped it up to something like 135 fps as we can see here. it was even higher on stream like 160 180 even while streaming in 1080p 60 fps so therefore that is super important guys and here on amd now in the first place under graphics i enabled the radeon anti lag mode which basically is like amd's version of like a ultra low latency mode which we have on nvidia probably most of you know it from the nvidia control panel just gonna enable it here real quick guys for the rest stuff like image sharpening i'm not going to touch we're gonna see straight up how it is running on 1920 times 1080 normal native resolution of course later we're also going to apply maybe a stretch resolution or stuff like that but as of right now these are the settings which we're dealing with guys and i would say we're going to hop straight up into fortnite so guys and i would say we're going to straight up drop somewhere on a huge poi let's just go here straight up for shattered slaps guys should be fine i would say so just let me get a gun here straight up off spawn and we should be chilling guys just i'm going to let the map render a little bit of course we're playing on direct top which means the whole entire map in the first place has to render for it to be like super super smooth uh this are already looking really good guys i'm not joking Do we have a shotgun let's go already decent loadout yes some slurp and we can go basically straight up w key that's actually crazy someone landed on the other side guys 190 fps like come on bro that is super smooth actually so where is someone hello What's up, man? Oh my god, I feel bad. <laughs> but they can see it, guys. Super smooth. Oh my god, those are back in the game. No way. So guys, and they can see the performance is insanely good. Like 170, 180 FPS right now here with DirectX 12, which runs a lot better than all the other performance modes which we actually have in the game itself. And once we know actually in-game guys, we can see here straight up that I actually prefer to you know DirectX 12 since it's a lot more consistent on AMD cards itself, guys. And of course, for the preset, we went with performance. Yeah, and I'm right now here in a normal match, guys. We're just gonna heal up real quick and go straight up W key to test it out here entirely. And trust me, guys, the performance is actually so good. Yeah, I've already played like one or two games, so the whole entire map could like a little bit like preload. Because as you might know, guys, um, for AMD. Okay, that was kind of close almost. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe right now, guys. We're super close to 70k subscribers because at 70k, I'm giving away a full-on SK61 with Gate 1 yellow switches. And also, don't forget to check out the following videos right now on screen since it's super beneficial to improve your performance in Fortnite.